I'm reading for you. And what's up? What's going on? Here they come again. They come with these. I was saying um, this energy feels like brains. Like they're thinking about you. They're thinking a lot of especially desirous thoughts about you. I hear conquerors. Conquerors. Contankerous. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> like this person want to pin you down kind of energy. And uh, they are thinking a lot of devious thoughts <laughs> about you. This person want to pin you down and take you there. Oh my God, Cancer. And here you come. It feels like you just... It, it's like that energy like... um. You know, like when the, a mother intervenes in a conversation that she was not necessarily invited into, but she's like, what did you just say? Hold on, hold on, hold up. <laughs> so here you come. All right, Cancer, Miss Cancer or Mr. Cancer, what do you have to say? You're looking at this person like, hold up. Hold up, I see you. And they're like... Ooh, baby, baby. <sighs> they want to have some fun with you. Pitching some offer that um, this person is not. It's that, like they want to have, have their cake and eat it too. It's more like, let me clarify this three of cups energy cancer. What is this three of cups energy? The ace. It feels like their desire or their wish granted or some fulfillment. Like it would be their ultimate conquest. Did I hear conquest in the beginning? See, they, they are here. They are here because, look, they are here. They, you're, this person is here. Because they, I remember I did a reading with this. It looked the same way except you were here. And this person wanted, this wealthy person wanted to reach out to you, probably offer you some things here. All right, so now they're coming with this. It feels heavy. It feels like cement and concrete. It feels like load, like foundation, things that can build a foundation. So like maybe what they want to reestablish something with you. And they're coming, um, they're watching to see how happy you are if you have moved on. And I do feel like this is where you belong up here, you know. So take your place, but hold on. Let me put you back here first and see what happens. And so here, but I do, it's like I hear the word soiree. I get, like they want to, I don't feel like this person is single. They want you to be a part of their life. This person may have a child, you know, and, and they want you to come and be that child's, be in a relationship with them and accept their child. Like they're saying they're not alone. You're going to be the third one. Like I'm not alone. You know, take me and another person. Like, so it could be another romantic interest, or this could be a child, a mother, or something. It's also they want to include you in their their business, their success, their success ideas, their prosperity, their work life. All right, this could be beautiful. Like this person that's looking at you, watching you, being happy, watching your happiness. <gasps> oh, okay. All right, then that is the King of Cups. Look, the Five of Cups, it could be a person from your past. Ooh, I literally just moved like a few paces. It feels like, um, no, not literally. That would be, <laughs> sorry. That would not be literally. That would be figuratively. But it feels like, and it, I just shifted, because this feels like, like it's telling me from past, past. That's how it moved, like doop, doop. Like when I said past energy, like a past person is like not immediate past, but doop doop. Like you wanted to say it's maybe this person is um, a person you were with a long time ago, way past, you know. Um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, this person could be older. This person has a, a good amount of love for you. I see the King of Cups looking at the Five of Cups energy. 
the five of cups is normally something sad or looking back at the past past sadness and all these things wanting to move on wanting a change right but i feel like this is happy happy memories that this person is feeling it, it is a bit nostalgic so there's a bit of sadness that they feel like they're not with you but their heart is with they hold that's where they hold you all right they're in their hearts like they treasure you look look at this person's hand on their heart space and they're looking at maybe some memories they're maybe looking at uh, things that you created together visualizing here um, about some something in the past and they see you it could be a picture that they're looking at and this person feels like they still feel like you're so radiant and beautiful and powerful when they see you they literally are smiling in their hearts knowing who you are this could be a past past person so this spy here is who is a jack Hmm. could be something of some some a situation having to do with money here an investment the nine of cups could also be your gifts your talents your emotional gifts like your spiritual gifts your emotion your sensitivity or your essence the nine of cups fulfillment emotional fulfillment and happen happiness your energy just that um just your energetic base how you are how kind you are how passionate how loving so the four of pentacles feels like i hear opt opt the 10 the 10 could oh my god that floated out so beautifully all right the eight <laughs> this is powerful the jack so i feel like maybe someone in the back of their brain somewhere is wondering if something would be worthy to pro to pursue or to proceed with or to on go into um make a, an alignment with or a connection with maybe they have something that they like this person may have some money that they want to invest I, or, or they just have some additional money that they think they could put somewhere they're not sure what to do with it and they're like in the back of their mind they're seeing you i hear visualizing visualizing to focusing uh, intending maybe on on um hmm. on manifesting something that they feel is is a worthy place to put this to in to make this investment okay so it's they're uncertain unsure for what reason they could be stuck on past circumstances past love past experiences this person could oh, another job this person could be exactly the four of hearts this person could actually be a loving person this jack of swords you see um as if maybe they have gone through certain experiences that caused them to to be hardened and not very emotional or not very not not communicating just really standoffish right now it could be because of certain experiences that's, that they had in the past that causes them to hold on to whatever they want to invest, either in a business connection or a relationship. So they're kind of iffy about the judgment, how they, how, like questioning even their own discernment, but really trying to um, be bold, be direct, pursue what they want actually be discerning this time so they're very um they're looking at the details paying attention to the details really inspecting this situation well before going on this endeavor they're like they have hopes here with the 10 
the way it floated out it feels like let me tell a dream it feels like a dream it could be a dream come true like literally the way it floated out that that is the energy i'm feeling a dream come true literally because the nine is wish fulfillment that means you're getting what your heart desires here you see something that your heart desire or you are already in alignment with your heart's desires and then a dream come true okay the way it floated it felt like magical the way that the tent flipped out it just it just danced and landed here like it's coming true it's like a wish it literally feels as if um you know like you'd see something magical like like a leaf floating and you'd watch it in a movie oh my god <laughs> all right for example you're watching um the visuals of a leaf floating through the air being carried by the wind and you know and then it lands somewhere and then this is where the story begins yes the beginning the 10 is, is the beginning it's like the leaf landed somewhere and then that's where the movie starts you know like a it feels like a shrek kind of animation where you'd watch that leaf traveling through the air in the beginning of the movie Ta -da -da -da, music playing and then it it landed somewhere and then the book opens and the story begins or it landed in someone's room and then it's all up the you know it, it the leaf the leaf lands it landed where the story begins this is where the story begins for you so i do feel like this jack even though they do come out every week and they are a bit in disguise we're not getting to see their true self because as I say, they have been standoffish because of certain experience. So I'm wondering if it could be this Jack. It could be a Cancerian. It could be a water sign. You know, that's a bit in their shell. It could, it could be you. It could be your energy, Cancerian, that's really watching. I don't know what's going on here. Look at this cycle, this circle here. It says, um, what's going on? And then we do have the four of hearts, which is um, basically being standoffish, being reserved, focusing on one, on on one's own um, self-love, healing, well-being, trusting in one's own heart space, one own dis own um, one's own discernment here. Someone may want, like, like they have a feeling of drifting back to a connection or a love that they have lost. It could have lost if, um, it feels like this, it could be this king down here because there's a lot of hearts here. It could be an intense love connection between two people who, <sighs> it's a real, it's like love of water here, water love. All right, it's pure hearts here. Water, love. It's beautiful, like two, oh my God. Two people and the past could be returning, your past person. You see what I mean, Cancerian? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <sighs> There's something else with the colors here on the cards. It's like realized. Mm. The, all right okay so the two people who it's water love it's real love divine love it's not just love that's based in passion and caught up in feelings it's oh my god it's like literally two souls two souls maybe two soulmates i'm telling you the king and queen of hearts it could literally be two soulmates like two people who know how to Oh, see it in each other's eyes and uh, just just that, that that's the kind of love beautiful like a person that is so deep and mysterious and beautiful and has a beautiful heart a beautiful smile like so powerful and then it, the, both of you are almost the same in how you love you know and then you come together and when you meet it's like it's not it's not it's not fireworks but it's like it's um 
earthquake within within it's not showing on the exterior you know on the surface but inside there's this energy like in your like you know it's like you i can't explain it right let me try because it's just this beautiful union when two people that are soulmates see in each other's eyes when they meet they know it it's like realize recognizing a part of yourself in someone else that's how deep this connection is and then you come together you make love but it's really intense all right it's real because both of you are similar and um the love is really intense here okay <laughs> oh my god okay so we'll see what's coming in for you will this person arrive to cancel or is there traveling is there traveling involved will they be a 10 will there, will there be traveling oh, oh okay see the two i'm i feel like i should use the tarot traveling blind faith trusting waiting hoping dreaming watching maybe hesitating traveling let me see if the world card comes up this person because this feels like a, a cycle or movement you see two kings there could be two people um involved here two different men I feel earth sign, a little earth sign energy. Earth could be past energy. The one that wants to, that sees you as a goal, a destiny, or a, this person sees you as like the star that is in the sky, this earth sign, and they are trying to reach that star. And they're traveling for days and they're working hard. They're not giving up. They want to make it to that. It's like trying to get to the horizon, actually. That's the energy. You could be this person's light, the sun, moon. It's so rare. And it's not like they're entranced by you. It's like they're your beauty and your purity or pureness captures them. And it's like they will travel the world. This person, I feel this person could have been a sailor, a traveler. This person would have traveled the seas following your star just to be with you. That's how I feel about this king of pentacles energy. And they may be wealthy enough to do so. Travel through lifetimes just to be, to see you, to appreciate your beauty. All right. And then we have, we're going to shuffle to see if there's two people if one is traveling to see you if you may be traveling cancerian i feel like <gasps> oh yeah i was just going to say i feel like doing a reading specifically um about travel for cancerians because <clears throat> i feel like it's a big issue like just shuffle the cards and get some messages about traveling for you and it could come them in some fortunate situation may cause you to move to travel i keep saying this feels like some kind of a cycle something moving around um i did get a feeling now that this could this is something that happens quite often within your pattern your life patterns with these two people here it feels like the, it's the same kind of energy the same story maybe you want to change the story you're looking at in a different direction you're chasing something else. I do feel voyage. I was talking about um, someone being a, a sailor. And it does feel like and fortune and treasure. And this person is wealthy. You know what I mean? This, per You know, it's pirate energy. Like a wealthy pirate that has no other desire than to, than to follow this star. Just to meet, just to, just to. And their 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 compass is just aimed here too. It's so strange. I do feel lifetime energy too. Like this is de like this destiny. You see what I'm saying with the wheel of fortune energy here? Like this is that this is their 
their ultimate attainment is to just travel and and to gaze at this star hmm. a cycle may be ending with the death energy all right for uh, maybe this entire life pattern situation that's going on here um it could be hmm i hear a tragedy for some okay some people will be pulled out of the equation uh, i'm trying to find out what you're seeking because i do feel like you're asking for something here with the death energy it's like you want to know something and you're <sighs> It's, it could imagine you're going through hell or going to hell just to find an answer you're about to like maybe face death just to get an, an answer you want to know something and you don't have fear all right it's um i may be saying death has to come to bring a certain clarity as the sun is here it's as if you're there's some if you want to know why this happened and so you're going you just want to have the answers that should come of this situation like you know there's an answer here but it's just not so i feel you're going you could be i don't know where you're going you could be um it's it's as it is as intense as going out at 12 a.m in the graveyard to sit somewhere just facing your fears literally that's what it feels like facing your fears just to find some clarity or some answers here um i feel it has something to do with travel movement the ocean your emotions okay meditation hey higher wisdom and intellect Ooh. Mm. okay so there's <clears throat> there's a okay oh, okay it feels like it's um okay it's like um gosh i like these angel spirits guides oh my god oh my god it's it's more like this three of swords here it's a thing because i can't find a better word for it right now that you take around with you it's here oh my gosh i feel like it's um It is to be healed. It, it does feel like it's a thing that is not yet weaponized because it is still vic being victimized. You understand what I'm saying? Because for me, the Three of Swords is actually standing up, finding a groundedness, knowing who you are in your heart space, living that way, aligning with that and manifesting that being a person of substance knowing who you are through your experiences you know the sword's energy for me is foundation stability in your identity your self-esteem in your beliefs your standards your boundaries and sometimes our boundaries they do get tested and crossed but that's how we get to become aware of what we don't appreciate so there's something deep a little here that is still unhealed because someone did not or have not come to the understanding of why this has happened so they have not enabled it as a stepping stone or or a strength accomplished they're still suffering and it is something that is deep deep um past like i feel it is a betrayal all right so that's the energy i'm getting so it's something that you feel is 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 you or 
you are aware that it is here like mm, this is how i am it's kind of like that energy but at the same time you know it is it is an infliction upon you and you bear it but you need to maybe I, i'm not sure if i should say you need there's a reason why it has not healed and maybe you're not realizing it is for a bigger purpose why this yet maybe you have healed so many things and this is the one that's still not healed but there's a major reason why this is not healed yet and maybe that is what is ending oh my god here we are because i say you there's something that's causing you to go toward this death energy you want to find the answer there's something it's been you've been taking with you that is not resolved in your energy in your heart space you need to meditate my dear and learn to see things from a higher perspective that is what i'm saying whenever any feeling at all that may take you out of alignment comes up it has to do with this energy and it is pulling you to heal or coming to alignment or so that this can be to be to uh, this can serve its purpose in your in your in your in your experience this experience happened however painful it was or whatever it was for you to step up or use it to as a weapon or a tool it's like playing a video game and you 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 just have not used this token because it's it's you haven't you you still think it's a, a rock it's a stone you haven't transmuted the energy and turned it into gold yet you don't see that it is a diamond for you it's it's a key you you don't see yet you don't see yet that this is a key to something to for some leveling up but you do know but the beautiful thing is you're still moving you're on your journey you're asking questions i'm telling you you're going the death card is here it could have something to do with your heart i feel you're slowly heading to a place of healing and well-being um i don't want to say slowly but something is it's coming into you. Look. 